My Secret Garden by Jackie Gabrielle Chapter 10 Day in the Park Jay woke to the roar of a lion. Or a lawnmower. Or a leaf blower. Florida was one of the few places in the States, besides Hawaii and Puerto Rico, that you could find someone mowing the lawn in the middle of winter. Good morning, beautiful, said Jean. Good morning, beautiful, replied Jay as she rolled over and took Jean in her arms. What do you want to do today? asked Jean. Besides lay here and hold you? Yes. Maybe go to the park. That sounds like an idea. I think some of the Puffin people are going to be there. Though she never ran into them, Jay was aware that others were helping with the education of the community at large with about cannabis. They ate a quick breakfast, dressed, and drove into town. They arrived at the neighborhood that surrounded the park. Jay kept an eye out for a parking spot. The park was simply a lake with a fountain in its middle, surrounded by land which a sidewalk wound. They found a spot on the south side of the lake, shaded by majestic oaks. Jay gathered her papers, which she carried with her almost everywhere she went. They consisted of a binder with two pockets, one side for petitions, the other for flyers, and her newsletter. She carried a few business cards in her hip pocket, too. She was loaded for bear. Though Jay only used to be a brownie scout, she took the motto, Be Prepared, seriously. The couple followed the path along the lake. The swans were out, and so were the many ducks and egrets and the occasional blue heron. The sidewalk curved around to the right, where it branched out into a row of booths. There were homemade soaps, jewelry makers, a vegetable stand, and a pickle cellar, too, to name a few. They wandered in and out of the booths, smelling the soaps, and even purchasing some garlic kale chips. Jay took the interaction with the chip merchant to share her newsletter with him. She also shared one of the flyers and petitions with the folks at the Stupid Good Mac and Cheese booth. Jean told Jay that she thought they were family, and this helped Jay to relax a bit. Jean simply watched as Jay did her thing. You'd never guess she had sociophobia, Jean thought. That medical marijuana is a miracle. After a bit, Jay said, Come on, honey, I'm ready to go. Do you want to walk around the lake some more? Well, said Jean, I've got our, I think we've got our exercise for the day, and I have four cold brews waiting in the fridge. I'm ready to go. Jay fed Jean some of her buffalo mac and cheese and said, Thank you for bringing me to the park. Thanks to you, my work for the day is done. Jean simply smiled and wiped extra cheese from the corner of her mouth. This really is stupid good mac and cheese, she said. Hmm, said Jay. I wonder if some hemp seeds would improve this. Jean just shook her head, took Jay by the hand and said, Come on, you hemp head, let's go home. To be continued.